Hi, my name is Farzana Farahani, and I'm a project geophysicist here at Sequin. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Voxy Time Domain EM project. To run a Voxy Time Domain EM for work or inversion model, we need three things. We need a Time Domain EM database, we need the survey waveform, and also we need all the time channels imported into a database. In this example, we have a VTEM Plus survey. It's a magnetic and electromagnetic survey conducted over the Saganash Lake area in the Northern Ontario, and the data is available through the Ontario Geological Survey publication. As you see in this example, the contractor has provided multiple delivered waveforms. In order to have a proper waveform for your Voxy project, we recommend to just select one line and make a copy of it. And then the next steps will be to clean out and have only one single half cycle of your waveform. Here we have a subset GTB of the waveform provided to us. And as you see, we have the negative half cycles followed by the positive half cycles here. What we need to do is just to clear out and have one single half cycle of the current. There are a few ways to do so. For this particular example, one way is just to multiply negative one by this current. And to figure out exactly where your half cycle finishes, you need to consider that this is a 30 Hertz waveform. Dividing one by 30 and dividing it by two, and considering the units of the time is millisecond, you would imagine that 16.667 would be the last time of your half cycle. So you can just simply delete the rest of the waveform from here. Once you delete everything after this time, you can make sure that you have all your zero times in this time channel and also you have one single half cycle of your current. Next is to make sure that you have the units for the TX current, which can be amp or milliamp, depending what you have in the survey report. And you also need to make sure to check and see if you have the units for your time, which can be second, millisecond or millisecond based on what you have in the survey. Your next exercise is to import all the time windows from the report into OSIS Montage in a database. In this example, I've copied all the VTEM decay sampling sham data from the report and then imported them into a CSV file and then created a GDB out of that. Once that database is created, we need to make sure that we have the time units for all these four channels, which is millisecond in this example. Next, we have to check our time domain EM data. We need to make sure we check the units in the channel we would like to invert. Here, I want to invert this channel. So I have to click right on edit and make sure I have imported the units from the report here. Also, I have to import all the uh, time windows into this database. I need to click right, go to array base properties and using the database that we just created, from the time windows, we can import all those time windows into our database. In the VDEM system, they have the first group of time channels will be dummied out, and perhaps some of the late dummies will be dummied out as well. And we start at the index four, which is appropriate for this setup. Now we're technically ready to start our Voxy time domain EM project. Here I'm just creating a new Voxy project it's really good to use this calculator to make sure the orientation of the mesh is proper and your mesh is not rotated. Before adding the data to your Voxy project, you can always check your mesh, modify it if you would like. For example, here I can adjust the bottom of the model to minus 100 because this will help the speed of the inversion and I don't need that depth to go. Please consider this video has a second part. Thank you so much for watching.